Capricorn and today I'm going to be talking about my journal collection. So you guys know that I have a few collections. I have uh, my bookmark collection and then I have shown you guys my Dizzy Pins collection. So this time around I'm going to be showing you guys my journal collection. And if you guys didn't know, if you're watching my channel for the first time, I'm a writer and I'm trying to get my book published currently and um, I am love journals and I do as a writer I do like having different journals and I have some that I already started using and there's some that I haven't used yet but let's get started on the collection. All these journals are not are not going into a particular order and the first one I'm showing you guys is this question mark journal that I have. I and I've showed you guys this journal when I shared my Harry Potter poem which I'll link in the corner and I have a few other poems in here but I just haven't um, share them yet or type them up. Some of them are like have titles but doesn't have a poem yet and others just have like other like poems that I wanted to write by him yeah and some that I already wrote. So yeah and I've been using this for my poetry and I've typed some of them up but there's some that I'm just wanting to write more poems in. <laughs> the next journal I'll be showing you guys is this um, girl with a shopping um, bag. I really like this journal and just want, forgot to mention this in the beginning of this video. I've been getting journals as gifts as well so I haven't bought some for myself but I like this journal just because it has like yes I started a, um, a book but I haven't finished it just because I, it's on the back burner right now so what I really like about this you can hardly see it. There's like a tiny drawing of the girl with her purse and then there's some other drawings. This is one of the journals that I really like and I do want to continue the story that I start in this at some point but I just don't know when and this is one of my favorite journals that I have. <laughs> Next journal I'm going to be showing you guys is this um, like a, a, a foresty kind of theme. I have started another story in here too but it's only like a paragraph so I have not finished the story but I do like the design of the cover of this journal. It's like Reminds me of a forest a bit, and that's why I really like about it. <laughs> the next journal that I got is um, this one that it says "Be um, Be Beautiful Journal," and it has like um, a quilt underneath. Nothing designed on it. Ooh, I haven't seen the end paper in quite a while, and yeah, and it has um, floral um, different backgrounds to it, and it has like quilts at the top like inspirational quotes and I really like that and and it's really empty pages right now because I haven't used it yet but I just really love this journal and I think I got this as a gift actually. I don't think I got this for myself. Yeah, I think I got this as a gift. <laughs> the next journal that I have here is um, this one that I got from Disney like a few years ago which has the Disney World's um, logo on it as well as says Walt Disney World on it and here's a closer look in case you guys are wondering. And of course, and I love the end papers here, and um, at each pages it has the same symbol of the journal, and again, I haven't used it yet, but I feel like I don't want to just because I love Disney, and I love Disney World, and this is one of my favorite Disney journals that I have. Yes, I have a few more in this video, but I just got this from Disney just by knowing as a writer I need a journal theme, a Disney themes journal. The next one that I have is this beautiful journal right here and it's blue and gold and has this sun in the middle and I really like the design of this and plus my nickname is Sunshine for my mom in case you guys didn't know but I do like the design of this journal and on the inside it's it's just plain on the inside but I just really love the cover of this and this is one of my favorite journals that I have and I bought this when I went to Virginia with Kevin and his family and we went to Jamestown and that's where and one of the shops has this journal and I just needed to bring a journal back with me just to remember on the time that I went there. The next one I'm going to be showing you guys is um, a Doctor Who themed journal and, and in case you guys didn't know I'm a Doctor Who fan even though I don't have the 10th Doctor on my shelves right now it's just I don't have a lot of room on my um, shelves but I this is a cover if you guys don't know Doctor Who this is the TARDIS which is the police box that they travel in and and I really like it oh and I also love the pages of this I have another one that I'll show you guys in a like in a 
few minutes of this video. I hope I, I really like the galaxy um, end pages and then the end side says bigger on the end side and that's what it is for Doctor Who. And this one's an empty one too. I only, the show, some of the journals that I showed you guys are like, um, that I already started writing in and there's some that are still empty. So I definitely um, love those journals. This is one of my favorite journals and I have another Doctor Who journal which I'll show you in a minute but I just love this journal. The next journal I'll be showing you guys is another Doctor Who um, journal that I'm going to be showing you guys. This one, it says, Keep Calm, I'm the Doctor, which I really like. And I like the Keep Calm stuff just because, especially with franchises that I love, and I just like that. And it has the TARDIS Rye at the top. And um, I'm, I haven't seen it on the inside. Oh, it has the bow tie in the inside because the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith, uh, wears bow ties because he said bow ties are cool. And... Yep, on the inside it has um, Geronimo, which is what he says, and then his sonic screwdriver on the other side. So, yeah, this is another one that I have, and I love Doctor Who, and and I definitely just love all these designs of these journals, especially when it's Doctor Who themed. Another one I'm going to be showing you guys is a Peter Pan theme, so yes, I have this one. This was part of a collection that is called on the Disney Fairy Tale collection, and you see you have Peter Pan fighting Captain Hook, and my favorite characters, and and Captain Hook is one of my favorite villains, but Gaston is my number one favorite, but I just love the design of the, this. There's the beautiful end papers, and let me see if I can see the pages. So yeah, each page it has doc, um, Peter Pan and Captain Hook underneath, and I just need to have this journal once I saw it, and and it has the bookmarks, has the feather at the end. So, as a Peter Pan fan, I just need this, and I'm not sure I'm going to write in it, just because I love it so much, and I don't want to ruin the journal itself. The next journal I'll be showing you guys is another Disney-themed journal, and it's um, the main mouse himself, Mickey Mouse. I just love the blue uh, coloring of this journal, and plus, it has Mickey right up the front, and um, the end pages doesn't have any special designs, but on the inside, it's all Mickey. And I got this from my last trip to Disney, and as a writer, I feel like I need more Disney themed journals, because they're so beautiful, and I know I probably will use them eventually, but at the same time, I just don't want to ruin it, and this is one of my favorite journals in my collection. Another Disney-inspired journal that I have here is a Beauty Beast Themes. This is a book that's featured in a live-action film, which I really like. Which, if you guys have not seen a live-action Disney movie, the Bees also got a magic book. And, and if you guys haven't seen it, sorry that I spoil it for you guys. But the cover is just so beautiful in the back, and it says Being a Beast on it. And on the inside, there's Belle and Beast him, themselves. Oh my gosh, my... Disney Prince and my favorite Disney Princess. And on the inside, it has all the Beauty and the Beast characters right on the pages, which I love very much because I love every single Disney or uh, Beauty and the Beast characters from Beauty and the Beast, other than from the original. And I just had to have this journal just because it's so beautiful and it's from one of my favorite Disney movies. The next journal that I'll be showing you guys is Tom Riddle's Diary from Harry Potter series. And of course, in the back, it has Tom Marvolo Riddle. And I'm not going to write in this just because, like, I made a joke that the reason I want to get it is just so in case Tom Riddle himself writes it back. But I might use it, but at the same time, I don't want to just because it's part of my Harry Potter collection on my Harry Potter shelf. And this sits right on top of my book set. So, yeah, and I just... This is one of the Horcruxes that I really wanted from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and I'm glad that I got it the last time I was there, and I'm just glad that I have this. <laughs> the next journal I'll be showing you guys is another Harry Potter-themed journal, which is um, Ravenclaw, which it's just a small journal, and I got it the last time I went to Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It has the Ravenclaw crest, like you see in the middle, and of course, on the inside, it's not that special. It just has plain pages, no lines in it whatsoever, and... I definitely love it. Has has a featured um, ribbon bookmark. I just love this journal, and I just glad that I got it just because I need more Harry Potter themed journals in my life. Another one I'm going to show you guys is another Harry Potter themed journal, which has the Hogwarts crest right up the front. And I'll give you guys a closer look of the front here. Here is um, Hogwarts, and it has the 
Hogwarts crest on it. And of course, like I said, the inside is not that special, but I just need to have it because I love Harry Potter and Hogwarts is like my third home because Disney World is my second home and Harry Potter is just another home of mine and I just need to have this journal. <laughs> another Harry Potter themed journal that I have here is, is a Marauder's Map themed journal. I'm not sure if there's anything special underneath, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, it has footprints on the inside and of course it says this book belongs to this person. And on the inside it says Mr. Jeff, um, Miss Jeff, Manage, and, and it has footprints all over it. So, yeah, this is another Harry Potter themed journal. I think my parents got it for me. I'm not quite sure. So, they know I'm a big Harry Potter fan. And I know I have another one, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show it in this video. But I just really love this journal. And it's a really cool one at the same time. <laughs> another Harry Potter themed journal that I'm going to be showing you guys is... Uh, this tiny journal, this travel journal that is um, themed of the Hogwarts Express, which I love. I got this from a book box like last year or a few years ago, and I and there's nothing special underneath, but the end pages has the Hogwarts Express, and then um, Diagon Alley on the other side, I think, and the inside of the journal is just plain lined pages, which I love, and I'm just glad that I have this in my collection. The next journal that I have here is um, a Hunger Games themes. Yes, you guys know I'm a big Hunger Games fan. And and I, I just love this journal just because it has the Mockingjay symbol right on the pages. And I just love it. And I think my parents also got me this dress or I'd buy it for myself. I don't remember. But I'm just so glad that I have this because not only am I a big Hunger Games fan, and I just need it in my collection. The next one here is... Is um a butterfly one? Yeah, um, it has a bunch of butterflies on it on the front and the back, and I think they have butterflies under. Yeah, there's butterflies and in, uh, inside, but there's just the the pages are not that special. It's just lined paper. I got this from um, one of the nature, um, like a flower place with Kevin and his parents, and we went there for like the Christmas slides. They have it like a, a Christmassy forest theme over there and I just decided to get it just because I love journals and I love butterflies so that's why I got it and I'm just so happy. <laughs> Next one here is Jurassic World themes. This actually came from the exhibit. Let me get out of the plastic real quick. So yeah this little journal came from the Jurassic World exhibit at the Field Museum in Chicago. I just wanted to get it because it's cool looking and plus my parents got it for me so thank you mom and dad. And, and it has the Jurassic World logo on here, and then it said the expedition, and the, it's really amazing when Jurassic World exhibit came to on the Field Museum. It almost looks like you're in Jurassic World, which is amazing. So, yeah, this is a really neatish um, journal that I have, even though I, I do like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, but they're not like my ultimate favorite just because some of these um, scenes were scary to me so I still like it just because as a memory of the exhibit that I visited in Chicago. The next journal I have here is this teal like I don't know if there's zigzag pat patterns on it. I got this as a Christmas present I believe because I don't remember buying this for myself and yep the lined papers are plain and there's the empty teal end pages so I really love this journal and I definitely will be using this for like a book idea or something just because this is like a really thin journal that I'm like this will be perfect for me as a writer when I'm trying to bring up more ideas for my novels. <laughs> the next one I got here is this beautiful journal and I love it because it has a typewriter on it and it says write it down and I got this from the Art Institute in Chicago and I just had to get it so yeah the the end papers are not that um, fancy and and the line papers are plain but you know what I don't care because I love this journal and this is just screams my name it just screams me when I see this journal and I just love it and I just need it as a writer Another journal that I'm be bringing up, and it is a really funny one, and it's um, Writer's Block 
journal and look at this it looks like a literally a one block I think that's genius and I got this from Barnes and Noble and I just had to have it and I know the pages are like plain white but it's just this theming of this journal is just so funny to me and it literally looks like a brick of wood and if you put it um, like far away you would think it's an actual brick but it's a journal and I just think this would be perfect for me when I'm on writer's block which I kind of in and out of at the moment but I just love this journal just because it's so hilarious. The next one I'll be showing you is this plain red little notebook and on the edges it's actually a rainbow which I really like and the pages are just plain lined pages but I just like it if I need it on the go I would just write things down and I have a bit I a small purse so I'm trying to figure out how to like figure out what I need in my purse and what I don't need in my purse so I definitely will be using this when I need it. The last journal I'll be showing you guys I know I'm not going to be showing you all of them in my collect all of my journals in my collection it's just because I have so many I just need don't want to make this forever long but the last one is this beautiful little journal it just has um, a floral um, design on the front and then you have the lined pages it's a little notebook which I definitely would need on the go if I need it and plus this is just perfect for me as a writer if I need to jot down my ideas so that's all for my journal collection let me know um, down below and what your favorite journal is for my collection or if you're a writer and you collect journals like I do, and yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!